So in a previous video, I think it was the one where I explained eight things that we need in our relationships to keep them healthy. And in that video, I said I would film another one talking about trust. So here we are, we're gonna talk about the importance of trust in relationships, because I honestly feel like this is one of the main things that are important, you know, because they're especially in today's world with today's culture and the types of films that are out there, the types of dynamics that we see with celebrities and stuff is a lot of disconnect. There's just such a lack of trust, so many insecurities in so many areas of our lives and dysfunctional relationships, you know, if you look at reality TV, it's dysfunctional and toxic like there's no other way to put it and it's not actually something that's normal or something that should be happening consistently but because it's been programmed into us a lot of us feel like those dynamics are normal and something that so many of us go through and now it's become a cycle where so many of us do go through it because we're all aware of its existence and now create it for ourselves so a lack of trust is like for me it's a it's a deal breaker like it's done <laughs> you know if there's no trust there's no relationship and you can rebuild trust and i think i have a video on how to yeah i have a video on what to do when trust is broken so you should definitely check that out if it's already been broken in your relationship but for me i feel like if there's no trust you cannot build a relationship without it, you need it. It's like one of the foundational layers within a connection. So there are ways to repair it, but that does require obviously some work and both parties being willing to try and fix it. But for this video, we're gonna talk about the importance of it being there because if you don't have trust, how can you rely on somebody? How can you open up and be vulnerable with them if you don't trust them especially as women like we need to feel safe in order to like have sex with somebody in order to be vulnerable with somebody we need to feel that level of safety so if you don't trust somebody you're not likely to feel safe and if safety is affected mm -mm, safety is like our number one need as a human, we need to feel safe. So if you can't trust them, you're gonna constantly be on edge, constantly on eggshells and anxious and worrying about what they're up to, what they're doing, who they're with, where they've gone. You're gonna be anticipating something negative happening or them hurting you or making a poor decision. And you may even make poor decisions as well because you're coming from an insecure place where there's no safety, you know? So this creates so much insecurity. And then when we move on to other relationships, we bring that with us because we're so used to not having that trust, not having that safety, not having that communication. So we literally take it into every connection that we experience and that, in that can include in work situations, that can include with family members and stuff, you know, it kind of trickles into all areas of our lives. So a lack of trust can not only destroy your relationship, but it can destroy your self-esteem and it can also destroy the other person's self-esteem especially if they've not done anything wrong and you're not trusting them, now they're going to be on eggshells. Now they're going to be on like anxious because they're going to be worrying about what you're thinking and how you're going to react to them and questioning their every move. Like you're both just going to be so uncomfortable with each other and it's not going to be able to flourish. You're not going to be able to be yourself and they're not going to be able to be their self either. You're just going to be stressed <laughs> and anxious and tense and constricted and closed off so it kind of closes you off from each other which is like the opposite of what you want to happen when you're in a relationship you want to be open with each other you want to be able to receive each other and feel each other and hear each other you know and just be connected but if you don't trust each other it's not going to happen so you have to work at building it even if they've not done anything wrong like no matter what's happened if you want to be with somebody, or if you want to be in a business partnership with somebody, or if you want to, like, if you're family with somebody, if you're family with somebody, that don't make sense. <laughs> if you're, if it's a family member, <laughs> oh my god, what? If it's a family member, if it's a friend, anybody, if you want to have a relationship with them, you have to, together, work on 
creating trust. You have to be able to, and I feel like the way to create trust is by trusting them, which sounds really ridiculous, but once you have that conversation with each other and decide, okay, we're in this together, we're doing this, we're committed to this, you have to then trust them. Like that's the way to build trust is through choosing to trust. So you have to just let them go out with their friends, let them go do their work or whatever it is that they're doing. You have to just allow that and trust in the fact that they're going to be faithful, that they're going to um, respect you and value you enough not to make poor choices. And sometimes we trust people and then they let us down and that's okay. We can't control other people. So you can be worrying about what they're doing all day, every day, but it's not going to change what they're doing. It's not going to make them not do it. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So you have to just, for your own sanity, your own peace of mind, for yourself, you have to just let them go and do it. You have to just trust them. And if they do something that then breaks it, then you can decide to let them go if that's what is best for you which is something that I've done recently if you watched my previous video um, once trust is broken for me that's it but in the past I have tried to rebuild it with a different relationship where the trust was broken and I chose to rebuild it I chose to try and fix it I chose to just work on the whole relationship but this time around I don't feel like I need to do that because there's a certain line that you just don't cross. And once you cross it, for me personally, I don't even want to rebuild that with you because you destroyed it kind of thing. But I think we all have to decide for ourselves where that line is. And then once we've created that line, you kind of create that agreement with each other of this is where the line is. Neither of us are going to cross it. So now let's enjoy each other. And then from there, once you've made that agreement, you just have to go about your life and try not to worry about the outcome or the unknown or the choices like you go about your life by working on your self-esteem by working on all of your chakras all of the emotions really doing your shadow work while in that relationship so that you can work on your own trust within yourself to trust yourself to make the right decision to trust yourself to pick the right partner to trust yourself and your level of safety no matter who is in your life and who isn't that you're always safe doing that in inner work within yourself and both people doing their own inner work it will help you in your ability to trust them and then if they do break it down the line you can't predict that they're not sitting there planning on going and doing that they can't predict that either so if something happens in the future then you just address it when it gets there if it gets there but you can't live your life on what if because you don't know you know and anything can happen you don't know what's going to happen down the road you don't know if they're going to break that trust you don't know what's going to happen whatsoever you don't know how long you're going to last how long you'll be together you don't even know how long you'll be alive so you cannot live your life worrying about what's going to happen down the road you have to have to have to enjoy the moments right now so when you're um, feeling anxious and things it's because you're thinking about the future you're fearing the unknown you're thinking about the potential of what could happen so you have to bring your focus back to the present and back to your agreement that you made with each other right now and trust it release the need to control it okay and bring yourself back to the present and it's a daily practice of being able to do that that's why doing your shadow work and things working on your insecurities and stuff will really really elevate that and help that and transform that whole process of being able to trust other people because you can't trust other people if you don't even trust yourself to choose the right people so it's just a full internal process and it's a daily process and during those processes you can communicate with the other person and explain where you're at and how you're feeling and why you're feeling that way and if they're the right person for you and if they respect you then they will be willing and open to have that conversation with you because they'll already be aware of the fact that you're dealing with trust issues. You know, like if you make that clear from the start of the relationship, then they'll know where they stand and you'll know where you stand and then you can work through those things together and it's about growing together, isn't it? And moving in the same direction and both doing your shadow work. So 
I hope this was helpful. I will link, I can never remember what side it's going to be, but I will link the other video about trust up there somewhere. So you can click on that if you want to watch it. And I really, really appreciate you. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell because I do upload four times a week. And check out the description box for all links to my music, my phone number, my social media, my jewellery brand, my merch and everything else about me is all in the description box below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. You could say I love you I can't get enough, boy I just want you to myself